Hey Titans, and welcome to another episode of Titan Weekly, where we give you the most up-to-date information on all our productions here at Titan TV, as well as the latest news, trends, and events. I'm Hibba Berry. And I'm Cassidy Joe Fortin, filling in today for Abby Fernandez. Here at Titan Weekly, we like you, our viewers, know what our shows have been up to, and if you like what you see, show us some love by clicking on the links provided below. How has your weekend been, Hiba? Are you excited for fall? I'm so excited for fall, especially PSL season's here. It is here, so <laughs> ladies, grab your Ugg boots and get in line for Starbucks, because we all know you've been waiting. Absolutely. I know I have. <laughs> Firefighters battled a fast-moving brush fire along the 91 freeway last week and burned 2,600 acres. The fire was near the border of Anaheim and Corona, and as of now, the cause for the fire is still unknown. As of yesterday, the fire was 95% contained and has damaged four homes, a commercial building, and threatened 1,900 structures at its peak. OC News was on the scene. 20% of the canyon fire is currently contained, and an estimated of 1,500 Corona residents were allowed to return to their homes after the evacuation orders were lifted at 10 a.m. for the people living south of Green River Road. The fire that started Monday at 1 p.m. along the 91 freeway near the Orange Riverside County lines has remained at 2,000 acres. If you want to check out more local news and see what students think about the NFL protesting on the field, be sure to check out the latest episode. On this week's episode of The Report, the ladies dig into the latest on healthcare in this country and its future. Take a look. So, Republicans have the House, the White House, Congress, and the Senate on both, uh, both on their sides. Why are they having such a hard time? Well, Republicans are clearly in a down-to-the-wire push to repeal the Affordable Health Care Act, and they have been for seven years, and they've promised their voters we're going to repeal and replace, repeal and replace, and I mean, there's there's nothing that they can come up with that both sides agree on. The latest report also discussed how CSUs are no longer requiring students to take remedial math and English. I wish they had said that sooner. For more on that topic, check out the link below. Tuffy's prehistoric distant relative is coming for a permanent stay here at Cal State Fullerton. A complete woolly mammoth fossil is to be displayed in the Chapman Atrium in the Student Union and will be revealed by the end of this fall. The woolly mammoth originates from Alaska and is about 85 to 90 percent intact. The fossil is being donated by President Greg Drilling and Testing Incorporated, John Gregg. The hopes are to get students excited about education when they pass by it. Let's hope we show this a woolly mammoth some love and not let it become irrelevant. Tragedy struck Las Vegas Sunday night when a lone gunman shot into an outdoor country music festival crowd from a 32nd story hotel window. As of now, there are 58 dead and more than 500 injured, making this the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. It is believed that the gunman, a 64-year-old man, acted alone and the motive is still yet unclear. The suspect killed himself before SWAT team came in and found at least 10 other rifles in his hotel room. The Las Vegas Police Department have released a number to call to locate any loved ones that attended the concert. How do you feel about this one, Hibba? This is insane. 58 dead. I didn't think it could get any worse than San Bernardino, and it's just insane. And what's unfortunate is the authorities have said the death toll is more than likely to go up with Rising. as many people injured as there is. Um, I know of a couple people who were there. Luckily, they mm -hmm. are safe, and our condolences do go out to those who have been affected by Absolutely. this tragedy. In other news, Hamilton star Lin-Manuel Miranda went off on Twitter when President Donald Trump stated that the mayor of Puerto Rico shows poor leadership skills and that Puerto Ricans wanted, quote, everything done for them, end quote. Miranda took to Twitter saying, quote, you're going straight to hell. No long lines for you. Someone will say right this way, sir. They will clear a path, end quote. Miranda has been recruiting celebrities to record a fundraising song for the aftermath of Hurricane Maria and is urging fans to donate to the Hispanic Federation, a nonprofit organization that provides grants to Latino agencies serving the community. Along the lines of celebrities in Puerto Rico, late night host Stephen Colbert and comedian Nick Kroll have started the hashtag Puberty Challenge to raise money for Puerto Rico. The two are encouraging other celebrities to share a picture of themselves as kids with the hashtag. It's like the Ice Bucket Challenge, but with more acne and braces. Yikes. 
Colbert said he will donate a thousand dollars to the organization for any star or celebrity who joins in on the challenge and posts their photos on Twitter. Kroll says he will match the donation. People like Conan O'Brien, Lena Dunham, James Corden, and Jimmy Kimmel have joined in so far. A Hocus Pocus remake is in the works, but without the original cast. It will be a modern retelling with an all-new cast and a new director. Not much has been said on who will be the new Sanderson sisters, but it will air on Disney Channel. A representative for Disney has said that the new TV movie will be a new iteration of the Halloween classic and is still in the early developmental stages. The original was released in theaters in 1993, and was supposed to be a made-for-TV movie, but was shown in theaters instead. The film has gained a cult following after being aired every Halloween season on Disney and ABC Family. I gotta say, I'm stoked. I love this movie. You know what, I have to admit, I've never seen this movie, but I think I'm gonna check it out this year for Halloween. I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't know what disappoints me more. <laughs> Bette Midler not redoing her role or that, but as long as you watch it. I'll watch it, I promise. <laughs> Cardi B has topped the charts with her single, Bodak Yellow, but why is it such a huge deal? For starters, she replaced Taylor Swift's song off the number one spot on the charts but she is also the first female rap artist to top the charts in 19 years. The last person to do that was Lauryn Hill in 1998, and she is the first Dominican female rapper to hit number one as well. Cardi B started out as a social media personality before landing a role on the reality TV show Love & Hip Hop New York, and from there she started to release her music. If you've heard the song, then you know Cardi B is not a woman to be trifled with. Well, that's all for us here at Titan Weekly. I'm Cassidy Joe Fortin. And I'm Hibba Berry. Be sure to check out all our other productions here at Titan TV. See you guys next time.